Okay guys, for those of you who think Windows 3.1 is complicated, I'll just give you a tutorial. So, okay, let's get started. Once you boot this up, you'll have to, um, um, the screen comes up with this and you'll have to put in Win and listen to this. Yes, that's the Windows 3.1 startup sound. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, let's start off with the control panel. Because I just, um, want you to know how you can, um, customize your desktop. And you have here sound, drivers, 386, enhanced, and MIDI mapper, date and time, international, printers, color, fonts, ports, uh, mouse, desktop, and keyboard. Let's customize the desktop for a second. And, um, there's just some BMP files to choose from as a wallpaper, as you can see by the list. And let's choose the cars, um, wallpaper because I like cars. And, hmm, edit pattern. Um, you can use this tool to, um, edit the, um, edit however you like. And press OK. And, yeah! You can see that, um, you can see that part, the background, right here. And, um, hmm. There's mini mapper, but, um, um, this, the mini drivers you can choose are MT32, LAPC1, General MIDI, Extended MIDI, and, um, more. I'm just, um, not gonna do anything to this. And, and that's international, and, um, and that's, um, that's, um, hmm, where you change your international settings for your computer. And the, today's date right now is December 31st, 2012, and that means it's New Year's Eve. So speaking of that, I would like to all wish you all a Happy New Year's Eve, and a Happy New Year, and, um, also, 11 years ago today, Microsoft discontinued support for all the MS-DOS operating systems, including Windows 95, in favor of the marketing of Windows XP. But, um, I wish they would have done that on, on January 2nd, 2002, or something like that, but they didn't plan to do it on that date. Hmm, for example, let's change, um, the language to, um, Hmm. To German. And, um. Yeah. Oh. Can't do that because, um. Because I don't have a Windows 3.1 disk right now. And let's cancel that. Hmm. Date and time settings is where I can change the date and time. And. Hit. And, um. I'm not gonna change anything right now. Well, actually, I'll just show you how to do this. Well, um, you can uh, go through, um, the, the months by, um, having this highlight and clicking on these arrows. And let's hit OK. And that's the mouse settings, and, um, and this is where you can change the double-click speed and, um, the mouse tracking speed. And, um, I can just, um, change the settings a little bit. Hmm. Hmm, these are the color settings. And, let's pick, um, Ocean. Because it's a cool color. And, um, actually, we should choose, um, something better. Like black and white. Now, that looks interesting with this scheme. This is where it can change the sound. And, um, yeah. Hmm. And this is where it can, um, change, change the sounds for your system. And I'm not gonna do anything to this. Well, you can, let's just actually hear all the sounds now.
Sounds like the Windows 95 sounds. Okay. Um, let's let's get out of the control panel. Um, there's three and six enhanced and drivers, but I'm not gonna go on the stings. And so as ports. And there's that Windows setup icon, but I don't know what that does. And there's the file manager um screen. And hmm, there's nothing to do here, so let's get out of here. Well, actually, this is where I can um, manage your files on your computer, and all that. Well, okay. Hmm, where did that window go? Okay, yes. Um, right here, there's the games folder that includes um, Solitaire and Minesweeper. And these games were, um, were also used in most of the other Microsoft operating systems. Let's just try Minesweeper. And I don't know what this game does. And you can see that clock right here. Oh man, I... <laughs> never mind, I give up. Let's try this other game. Now, this is probably like a cards game. And it's probably too difficult for me to play because of how this game is designed. Obviously. Um. Hmm. And there's no path recorder, calendar, sound recorder, media player, character map, object packager, clock, calculator, write, paintbrush, and terminal in the accessories folder. Hmm. There's no path where you can type things down, however you like. And let's type in this is a test in. Ah, uh, I spelled this wrong by mistake. <laughs> Sorry about that. Windows 3.1. Yeah, I'll save this. 3.1 test is what I should um save. And let's go to paintbrush. And this is like Microsoft Paint, but this is an earlier version of it for MS DOS. And um let's make um let's make a um make something cool with this. Yeah. <laughs> Um Haha. <laughs> That's just a random drawing I did now. Um Let's let's save this as MS Paint test for now. Oh wait, the file name is not valid, and... Okay. Hmm. Okay, exit this. And this is where you can, um, have a clock enabled. Right here. And I can, I'm just gonna ha have this on here. And... It is a recorder where you can um, record stuff onto um, things pr like um, probably cassette tapes and um, VHS tapes and all that. But I don't know how it works, so I'll exit out of here. And calendar, this is where you can um, where you can um, make your own schedules on your date and and. Um, not gonna do anything on here. And this is right, and this is like, um, 
Microsoft Word, but this is an earlier version of it. Ha ha ha, that's what I should type in. And this, um, and this will be doc test. I'll s that's what I should save as. And exit. And, um, media player. That's an earlier version of, um, Win Windows Media Player. And there's a MIDI file called Canyon. And I have the file playing, but right now, I can't hear anything because I'm using Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 for this. And let's get out of here. Character map. That's, um, that's, um, that's um, where you can copy some of the characters that um, you're not able to type in. Or if you don't know how to do it. And, um... Hmm, let's, um... Hmm... Well... Um, never mind. Hmm... There's Object Packager. Um... Hang on. Oh man, where did that window go? Yeah, this is sound recorder, and that's where you can record um, a sound. But these windows look pretty weird with the color scene I picked out moments ago. And there's terminal, but I'm not gonna, go, not gonna do that one because it's probably like a business thing. And, um, hmm. And there's MS-DOS prompt right here in the main folder. And PIF editor, where you can add your PIF tag or something like that. And, um, hmm, this is where I can, um, type in, um, your commands. And let me exit out here because there's nothing for me to, um, do in there. Now, hmm, there's clipboard viewer where you can, um, view the contents that views, view your, um, the stuff that you copied. There's PIF editor. Um, yeah, and that's just, um, something that you can edit, but, um, I don't know what it actually does. So, um, let me change back to the, um, usual, um, theme. Okay, um, we're just done, and that'll be it for this tutorial video for Windows 3.1, and let's exit Windows. Yeah, now that's a different shutdown sound, and let's boot it up again and shut it down one more time. Yeah, and that'll be it for this tutorial video, so goodbye everybody, and that's about it.